Dundon Hill stands at 336 feet above the Somerset levels as an island on the edge of the Polden Hills. This freestanding hill is heavily wooded today with a clearing on the plateau. When this hill was in use there would have been no trees with the perfect 360 degree panoramic view of the surrounding area. It has been described as a univalulate hill fort that is one ditch and one bank but the sides of the hill are so steep that only a palisade was needed. Today this hill serves as a nature reserve with lots of wild plants, flowers and animals which are attracted to this hillside. Several flint flakes, a core and scrapers, also a few pieces of BA pottery were found on the surface within the camp in 1916 by Arthur Billard who excavated the Glassby Lake villages. The hill is split into two by a thin layer of trees with the surrounding countryside obscured by treetops there are some breaks in the trees where you can see the farmers fields down below. If you stand in the white spot you can see glass be tall in the distance. As early as the 13th century the middle part of the hill has been quarried to help build a nearby church and many other buildings in Dundon Compton most recently quarried in 1925 to build a property that is appropriately called a The Beacon. South Somerset has many great hill forts specifically round the Somerset levels. What Somerset does not have is Bronze Age barrows compared with its neighbours Dorset and Wiltshire. There are very few of these barrows in Somerset and many of them appear on top of hill forts such as seven barrows on top of the small down camp. On the south corner of this hill there is Dundon Beacon. This is a barrow right on the edge of the hill. This is quite a medium sized barrow and when excavated in the 18th century there was a crouch burial found. The strangest feature on the hill top is a standing stone that looks like a gravestone. As rumour has it, this is a Roman grave. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video.